While the groom is behind bars on $3 million bail on a charge of murder, the wife's body, the bride's body, still missing. Straight out to Mark Carbonaro, Program Director at KION News Talk. Uh, welcome, Mark. What can you tell me about the, the arrest? Well, thank you, Nancy. Good to be with you. Well, I understand that the Salinas police picked up uh, Jesse Crow in Pacific Grove last night, a city which is about 20 miles uh, west of Salinas on the Monterey Peninsula. He apparently uh, cooperated with the police. There was no incident. They took him into custody at that time. Now, I, I talked with the public information officer of the police department just a few minutes ago, and he informed me now that uh, the woman that Jesse Crow was with, uh, Ms. Uh, Summer Donovan, is a, uh, a person of interest in this case. So uh, there's more that's going to be coming out on this, and apparently the police have scheduled a news conference okay, for tomorrow on, afternoon. Okay, hold on, hold on. With me, Mark Cabanaro, K-I-O-N, News Talk. This is news. We heard rumblings about it, but you are confirming that the other woman is now a person of interest. Now, this is the woman, Summer Donovan, that was in the car with the husband, the groom, Jesse Crow, Correct. about 20, 26 miles headed south. Now, where does she fit into the picture? My sources are telling me that she had been a previous girlfriend. Then Crow meets up with Ryan. They have a whirlwind romance. They race off and elope to Vegas. And now the ex who is Summer Donovan, is back in the picture, and the wife, the bride, is missing. Her body can't be found. That's correct. And the police have not indicated why Ms. Donovan is a person of interest. They are just saying that she is a person of interest. They also say they have a motive in this case, but they would not uh, discuss that with us, and they said that we have to wait for the news conference uh, tomorrow well, for that you know, information. Mark, you know, I know you're a journalist and you have excellent credentials, but... Two and two still equals four. Husband You're arrested right. for murder. He's in the car with the ex, the girlfriend, and now she's the POI. Is it true, out to you, Clark Goldband, our producer on the story, that they searched Summer Donovan's home? Yes, Nancy. We're trying to confirm she is a person of interest ourselves with law enforcement. What we were able to confirm is law enforcement served a search warrant on her home, Nancy. Her home in Pacific Grove, California, the location where that car was pulled over and husband Jesse Crow was arrested. Let's go out to Chris Saffron, everyone. We are taking your calls live. Chris, former NYPD detective, CEO of Kindershield Agency. Chris, it's great to have you. Thank you. Chris, Nancy. come on. They search her home. They search his home. They find about 300 pot plants and a very sophisticated hydroponic marijuana uh, growing operation. There had to be some kind of DNA. Something in one of those two homes, his or hers, the girlfriend, Evidence that says murder. They don't have a body. They don't have a body. So they don't know where she is, if she's murdered. They have reason to believe she's murdered. What do you think? Blood spatter? What did they find? Well, I'm thinking they're probably, they probably, you know, they're saying that they have information that led them in the direction of an arrest. You know, I'm thinking they probably found sufficient uh, evidence of blood, either in, uh, most likely in the marital residence. Um, you know, and as far as you know, the, the person of interest in this case, you know, I've been trying to figure out how does, how does that car get 90, her car get 90 miles away? You know, if he drove it out there, someone had to drive him That's back. That's a good point, Chris Saffron. Maybe her fingerprints are popping up in the bride's car. We are taking your calls live. Breaking news tonight, the groom. Of, Je of Ryan Crow, dead. Ryan Benel Crow, just 23 years old, believed to be dead. The groom now.